You ready for this, you naughty boy? This is my first time, so I'm not really sure what to do. That's okay, my big bad boy. Your voice makes me want to drizzle something all over you and lick it off. Um, what is it that I'm licking? Uh, pe peanut, peanut butter. Oh yeah, I want you to spread me like peanut butter on a celery stick, like a delicious afternoon snack. <laughs> my grandma Bertha used to make that for me and my cousin. Wait, Kev, is that you? C cousin Shelly? Yeah, cuz, it's me. What the hell are you doing working at a phone sex line? There's nothing to be ashamed of, Kev. Men and women dirty talk all the time. Like, for example, I just got off the phone with this guy who said he wanted to put Pop Rocks up my- No, no, stop, Shell. I... Can I get my money back? Well, we have a no refund policy. I know, I'll alter my voice so you can't tell it's me. <clears throat> Ooh boy, you make me feel like nacho cheese. Hot and spicy. No, nope, no, nope, I can't, I can't do it, Shell. Oh, okay. I'll just transfer you to someone else. This next girl is an angel in the streets, but a devil in the sheets. See you on Sunday for family game night. Hey there, big daddy. I hope you like gardening because you're about to get down and dirty with this hoe. Yeah, I've got tools. I'm sorry, that didn't come out right. <laughs> That's okay, sweetie. Why don't we take it a little easy? Can I read you something? Yeah, sure. This little something from the past is really going to get you to blast. <clears throat> oh, the places you'll go. Wait, I know that voice. Aunt Linda? <gasps> Kev Kev, is that you? <laughs> no, first Shelly, now you? I'm so embarrassed. Oh, don't be. Everybody needs to relieve their peepees and coochies. You're not ashamed to touch your peepee, are you, Kev Kev? Aunt Linda, no. Stop. Maybe I could change my voice for no, you? No, you need to transfer me to somebody. Anybody else. Fine, fine. Transferring you now to our baddest bitch. She's so hot you could fry an egg on her sidewalk, if you know what I mean. Oh, Kev Kev, while I have you, do you mind letting the dogs out on Thursday? Your Uncle Mike and I are going to a vineyard. Yes, of course. Now just transfer me. Fine. Okay. Sheesh. Transferring you now. You ready for this, you dirty, dirty boy? Ooh, that's more like it. Shut up. I'm in control here, you dirty fucker. Yes, ma'am. Don't you ma'am me. Go to the corner or else I'll give you a nasty spanking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mom, is that you? Kevin, oh, sweetie, look at you finally getting into some kinky stuff. Mom, <sighs> why do you, Cousin Shelly and Aunt Linda, all work here? It's not just us. Aunt Betty does the books, Cousin Alyssa takes care of IT, and Grandma owns the whole operation. Not Gam Gam. Honey, this isn't a big deal. I told your father we should have let you know. Dad's okay with this? He is a core investor. Mom, how are you not ashamed? There's nothing to be ashamed of. What do you think paid for all of your travel soccer team? <sighs> okay, but this stops now. Sure, Kev. I'll do anything for you. But this does mean you'll have to cover your own phone bill. No, well, uh... And pay for your own college. Mom. And for the vegan jerky of the month club. No, okay, well, wait, just, if this job makes you happy, I, I guess you can keep it. Thank you, sweetie. Now are you going to redeem your call? Well, can you transfer me to anybody I'm not related to? Well, there is Vera, who is your fourth cousin. I don't think you've ever met her. Will that work? Put me through. This program brought to you by a personal touch hotline. A personal touch. It's all relative.